Hey, Bears, Eric here, and I guess we're still talking about Sweet Baby Ink. I'd like to say I'm surprised, but this is the internet, and this is what the internet does. It takes this bit of news and it blows it out of proportion and makes it viral until it just doesn't matter anymore. And I guess we're still sort of treading the waters of Sweet Baby Ink. My last video, shout out to my last video, um, you guys had an issue with me being the voice of reason. It's like 400 and some comments over there where you, you disagree with me, and that's fine. You can disagree with me all you want. Uh, you can even come over and tell me I shouldn't be saying all this stuff, ah, and I'm going to keep saying it. I didn't get to be an opinionated old man by keeping my mouth shut. Uh, so no, I'm going to keep talking about it. You're welcome to disagree with me. And if you haven't seen that video, it's going to be right here in the corner. You head over there where I debunk a bunch of stuff that's being said about Sweet Baby Inc. And we got a new clip, a smear campaign uh, from, I believe her name is Kim Belair, who's the CEO of Sweet Baby Inc. Um, they took this clip. They've sort of sensationalized it a little bit. Oh, she's saying the quiet part out loud. So insidious. Uh, but they have this clip running. It's a very short clip. It's only 37 seconds. But I'm going to explain to you a lot of stuff. <laughs> like, I'm going to break down and dismantle this entire argument about uh, Sweet Baby Inc. and Kim and just show you why a lot of people, the vast majority of people complaining about this, are huge hypocrites with double standards. So let's watch the clip and then we'll talk about it. We work very hard to get marginalized talent into the industry to protect them the way that we would want to have been protected, to lift them up and to get them into an industry where they're too often shut out. And basically, I think to take over, take over, take over, take over, take over, in the hopes that some really dope people will be able to lead into kind of a new era for an industry that's been kind of, you know, the same way too long. All right. So if you weren't reading the subtitles, it was being very passive aggressive about the stuff that she was saying. And I have to say, there's nothing shocking there to me about what she's saying. I think she's been very vocal about how she feels. That's part of the criticism that most of you guys have had about her for a while now, is that the stuff she says on the internet, the way she acts, the way she carries herself, the attitude she has, this seems to be the issue that you've had with her, her specifically. No, I'm not here to defend Kim. I'm sure Kim can do that herself. I don't have to do that. I'm also not here to defend Sweet Baby Inc. But I'm here once again to offer an opinion so that maybe cooler heads will prevail and it's not such a big conspiracy theory bunch of like garbage that you guys just keep making out to be. First of all, this video was pushing the great replacement theory. It said it right there in the text at the bottom. And this is something that I see quite often when people start talking about this, they get worried that, you know, they're going to get shoved out of the industry uh, because they're white men, straight white men. Uh, you guys still make up the vast majority of people in the entertainment world in a lot of spaces, actually. I don't think there's ever going to be a shortage of that. At least not in our lifetime. We're probably not going to see anything like that. I don't know what's going to be like 400 years from now, but you know, we could be talking to aliens or something. I don't know. So I don't think there's any real, like this idea of, of that replacement theory has been around for a very long time and we still have yet to see it because guess what? Marginalized people, people that need companies like Sweet Baby Inc. to support them, they don't have the power to do that. And we talked about this in my last video. There's no magic wand waving power for marginalized people to come in and take everything away from the ruling class. It just, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So when she says take over, I'm pretty sure she means that tongue in cheek, but also that she would really like that because there is a lack of representation in media. You guys keep saying everything is, is, is gay. Everything is uh queer. There's everything has black people, race swaps and, and Asian people. And like just all of these things, it's really not that many. The percentages are very low. Uh, you can look each year at the percentage. I'm curious what 2024 is going to be out. I will get back to you with that stat, but I know in 2023, it was less than 25% when it comes to queer representation across all media. And we're talking about like the different facets of queer people, not just gay men, not just lesbians, not just trans people, not just non just queer people in general across all media. I think the last number was like 22 point some percent. Some of the polls might be a little bit different, but it's still a very small amount of, of all media. It's even less than video games, which is what we're talking about here. So this idea that's somehow going to take over the industry is weird. 
once again, everything that she was working on, because they're saying the quiet, she's saying the quiet part out loud, according to these people, everything Sweet Baby Inc. has worked on is on their website. It's all there. You don't have to make up a list. Just go to the website and say, okay, I don't want diversity in the stuff that I'm playing, so I'm not going to play these games. That's it. End of discussion. However, I do want to point out why I think it is massively hypocritical and a big double standard for a lot of the people out there who are still complaining about this. If Kim were on the other side of the aisle, if she were conservative and she wanted more traditional media, she wanted more Christian people, she wanted more white men in media, the way she's acting, you guys would have no problem with that. You would have no problem with her quote unquote attitude and the way she's acting on the internet and saying the quiet part out loud, you would have no issue with it. You'd have no issue with the way she's carrying herself. So that tells me it isn't about that. So pull that away. So it's not about her attitude or anything, because I, I don't believe that you guys would have an issue with her and anything she's doing if she were talking on the opposite side. If she were saying stuff about conservative values, traditional values, I just don't believe you would. I don't. Feel free to go in the comments and tell me otherwise, but I don't think you would. I think if she were speaking like that, you would have no issue with it. And I also want to speak directly to some of the creators that are making videos about her. Going back to that double standard, you guys have screamed for years and years and years about get woke, go broke, burn down Hollywood, Star Wars is dead, Marvel is dead, we need to take back the industry. What does that mean exactly? What does it mean when you say you're going to take back the industry? Does that mean we're still going to have diversity in media? Or does that mean you want to take over and push diversity out? I think it means the second one, that you want to get diverse. You don't want gay people and stuff. You don't want women and stuff. You don't want black people and stuff. The list just keeps going on and on. You don't want that. So all of the things that you talk about on your channels, all the stuff you say on your channels is literally constantly the thing she said in this video and you're saying it over and over and over again but the vast majority of you have not put in the work to create a business to try and do this the way that she has so my suggestion to you is instead of getting on the internet and grifting for a dollar and complaining about stuff all the time you might want to actually do something to make social change because the reason why progress is happening is because people that believe in it actually put on their boots, they go out there and they work hard for it, just like she has. While you guys just sit in your rooms, sit on YouTube and complain about diversity and claim everything is dying, claim everything is burning down. The vast majority of you, that is what you do. You are doing it to grift money from your viewers because you're saying the thing that they want to hear. So this is the this is why I'm so shocked that a lot of you are still going hard on what Kim is doing in the Sweet Baby Inc. thing if you were, in fact, not against the idea of diversity in general because all of that other stuff doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. If she were conservative, you would not be saying all this stuff. And you know that. Eric here, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting subscribe, engaging with the like system, and leaving a comment down below. Every single number helps with a smaller channel like myself to increase my outreach to everyone here on YouTube and outside of this platform. Also, if you'd like to support the channel and help keep the lights on in here, you can become a member of the channel, which helps me, again, as a small channel, uh, navigate the system where YouTube doesn't like to promote this kind of content. So if you wanna be a part of the change and be a part of the community, and interact with me and other people that feel the same way as we do, please consider subscribing and supporting the channel. I thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next video.